Hi, I'm Stuart Breeding with FetLab. Uh, I keep getting emails almost on a daily basis about what my thoughts are on America's obesity epidemic and extreme weight gain. Uh, and I definitely have my thoughts. We have our philosophies here at FitLab as to what's going on. And much like our weight loss strategies, um, the reason that America is gaining weight is, is, is comprehensive. It's not just one issue. There are multiple issues as to what we believe is, is happening, uh, sort of a perfect storm. Um, I'd like to share with you just you know, some of my thoughts on the subject, and you can agree or disagree, and the subject is definitely up for debate right now. So I think the more that we engage this conversation and put it out there and you know, maybe take a little bit of this and apply it to yourself and see if uh, some of this sounds like uh, um, something that you may be dealing with or something that you've thought of or, or happen to believe in with me. Uh, but I believe it, it has to start with big food companies. We have to look very seriously at the behaviors of big food and uh, the way they act as pariah in the marketplace. I personally believe that big food has the same business model as big tobacco used to have and still does with the realization that uh, tobacco is not what they're selling, it's a nicotine delivery device. And food companies have figured out how to make food, sugar, and sodium devices. They are uh, marketing to younger and younger kids. I challenge you to walk down any grocery aisle and look at the back of a cereal box for a kid and, and prove to me that it is not at least 90% sugar. So what happens when we just start bringing our children up on this, on this sugar addiction? And, and it is an addiction. Uh, foods are chemically modified uh, so that we do have an addiction to them. So there's a lot of research on this subject. It's not very hard to look around and see the marketing and, and look at the back of a packaged box. Look at how much uh, high fructose corn syrup the average person ate in 1950 as to how much they eat today. It's just staggering how much sugar is in the foods today and sodium. And these foods are definitely designed to create an addictive response to it. And it is a vicious, endless circle. And I think that we have to look and hold responsible the big food companies. We have to hold them as responsible as we did big tobacco. We have to know that they are marketing to us and our children and playing on our emotions and promising us something that just is not being delivered. Um, so that's one cause. I think uh, financial issues today are another cause. Um, people are needing to feed their families uh, on less and less. And let's face it, 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 it is amazing to me that America's obesity epidemic is, is happening at a time where when financially people are really hurting. It seems to me like in the past societies that, that you know, were, were, were poor uh, or in financial duress, they were starving. What sense does it make that our country is in financial duress and we're dying of obesity? It's completely flip-flopped. So I think when we look at you know, the responsibility of somebody who's trying to feed their family, they're going to try to put as many calories on the table as they can as cheap as possible. And I think, once again, big food answers that. The problem is we live in a time, unlike any other, where we have an abundant amount of calories and a minimal amount of nutrition. In the past, if we look at agricultural societies, they had a, a high 
level of, of nutrition and low level of, of calories. So the foods that we're eating are, are very high in calories, but our, food, our bodies are still starving. We're getting tons of calories, we're getting fatter and fatter, and our bodies are still starving and screaming for more. 